Today, more than a thousand people started a three day, 60 mile walk to fight breast cancer. It's the Susan G. Coleman three day, and everyone walking has a story. Our teammate Sarah's walking for her mom, who's a survivor, and she's walking for her daughter so that they never have to go through this. Amy's walking for several friends that have fought and survived. Nancy's mom died of cancer, and I'm walking for my girlfriend's mom who's battling it. My father's 70 years old, and he's been surviving breast cancer since 2005. He's had a mastectomy and he's doing okay. Our 1,100 walkers showed up this morning and they are walking 20 miles today, all in an effort to end breast cancer. And they will walk another 20 tomorrow and another 20 on Sunday. And this is just awesome for me as a survivor to see so many people out here trying to make a difference. I walked in the breast cancer walk four years ago and I just woke up this morning and here it comes past my house. So I had to come out and cheer everybody on. You know, I know all these people, they're just starting to flag after walking maybe six miles this morning, so it'd be really cool to get a boost. I have a letter in my fanny pack that my son, my 13-year-old, wrote me this morning, and every time my leg starts hurting, I think of that letter, and he believes in me, and I can do this. We, go, we can all do this. If you want to come out and cheer them on, or if you want to donate, we have information on what you can do at our website, WXYZ.com. Kim Russell, 7 Action News.